Peppa and Daddy Pig are baking a cake for Mummy Pig's birthday. Daddy, this doesn't look like a chocolate cake to me. Hmm, you're right, Peppa. Oh, I know. Well done, Peppa. How could we forget the chocolate? Now we just have to mix it. Uh oh! Peppa and Daddy Pig are trying again to make a yummy chocolate cake for Mummy Pig's birthday. This looks perfect, Peppa. Now all we have to do is get the mixture in the tin. One, two, three! Oh! Mmm! That would have been a very yummy cake. Oh dear! It seems making a cake can be tricky. Finally! Our cake is ready for the oven, Peppa. Hooray! Hooray! Now we just have to wait. Hooray! Our cake is done! Cake! Cake! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Ooh, ooh. <gasps> Happy birthday, dear Mummy! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! you. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Pepper. This really is the perfect chocolate cake. Well, almost perfect. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Yay! Oof! <laughs> <laughs> The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Miss Rabbit on the bus says, all aboard, all aboard, all aboard. Miss Rabbit on the bus says, all aboard, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The children on the bus they giggle, 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 giggle. giggle. The children on the bus they giggle, 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 all through the town. The signals on the bus go blink, 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 blink. The signals on the bus go blink, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep. On the bus goes Pepper on the bus goes All through the town The wheels on the bus go round and round Round and round Round and round The wheels on the bus go round and round All through the town to the garden games. It's finally the moment we have all been waiting for. The team challenge! Peppa and her family are having a sports day in the garden. It looks like our athletes are ready to begin. First up, the egg and spoon race. Ready? Steady? Go! Both teams are off to a strong start. Yeah! Oh no! How unlucky for the blue team! Try again, Danny! The red team has the lead and is starting the second challenge the beanbag toss. There, there! Oh dear! The red team are having some problems! Here come Pepper and Daddy Pig. Wow! That was a great <laughs> shot by Pepper. Uh oh. But Mummy Pig and George are back in the race. It's going to all come down to the last event the Muddy Puddle Bucket Challenge. The first team to fill their bucket with mud wins. <laughs> oh, it looks like the blue team is off to a strong start. But don't count the red team out yet. Oh, now the red team is in the lead. No, it's the blue. No, no, red again. No, blue. Who is it going to be? That's it. It's a draw. Everyone wins. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! 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 
In Peppa's home, Daddy Pig is very excited. He's got a surprise for the family and he can't wait to tell them. Peppa is watching Super Potato on the TV. Mummy Pig is playing Happy Mrs. Chicken on the computer. And George is in his room playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Daddy Pig calls the family and they come to meet him in the kitchen. Daddy Pig tells the family that they are going on holiday. It looks like everyone is excited. The family rush to pack their suitcases. Peppa puts her favourite dresses in the suitcase. George thinks Mr. Dinosaur would like to ride in the aeroplane with him. Mummy Pig thinks she'll take her sun hat. Daddy Pig is going to take his camera. Daddy Pig brings the cases downstairs and loads them into the car. Come on, Pepper and George, we don't want to miss our plane, calls Mummy Pig. Family jump into the car and ride to the airport. The luggage is loaded into the plane as Pepper and her family climb aboard. The door is closed and the plane prepares to take off. With a rumble and a whoosh, the plane soars up into the air. And with a the plane lands on the runway. Daddy Pig has another surprise for the family. Ta-da! He cries out. A camper van! The family are going on a camping holiday. They climb inside and off they go. On the road and off to adventure. Daddy Pig spots a nice clearing that will be perfect for a campsite. He pulls the camper van over into the clearing and begins to set up camp. Mummy Pig starts the barbecue. Daddy Pig pulls out the benches and Pepper and George get on their bicycles and go for a ride in the forest. Mummy Pig calls everyone for dinner and the family settle down to eat. As the day turns into night, Daddy Pig suggests that it's time for bed. But where are Pepper and George? They're bouncing up and down on the bed. But Daddy Pig tells him that's not where they're sleeping. He tells Pepper and George to follow him. Tent. Daddy Pig put up a tent for Pepper and George to sleep in. How exciting! The two wriggle into their tent and snuggle down into their sleeping bags for a well-deserved sleep, ready for another day's adventures. It's an exciting day for Pepper and her friends. After weeks of practicing and rehearsing, their play is ready for their audience to see. Candy Cat sells tickets, whilst Danny Dog shows people to their seats. The audience chatter and murmur excitedly. The lights dim down, the curtain rises, and the play begins. It's Pepper's home. A set of the kitchen is on the stage. Daddy Pig is sat at the breakfast table. A basket of laundry is on the stage, as well as Polly Parrot on her perch. 
Polly Parrot is staying with them whilst Granny and Grandpa Pig are on holiday. That was a yummy breakfast. Time to get ready for work, says Daddy Pig. Now, where are my keys, he says. But as he looks around, he knocks over Polly Parrot. Oh no, Polly's got loose. Come back here, Daddy Pig cries. Off to the side of the stage, Susie Sheep uses a megaphone to perform the parrot's voice. Get back here! Get back here! Calls Susie Sheep pretending to be the parrot. <laughs> come on, Polly, come back! Daddy Pig says. Oh no, not outside! Oh dear, I'm going to have to find Polly. The set has changed to the outside of Peppa's house. Where has Polly Parrot got to? Says Daddy Pig. It's behind you! Cry the audience laughing. Behind me? Daddy Pig looks behind him. No, Polly isn't there. It's behind you! Laugh the audience. Are you sure? Daddy Pig asks the audience. Yes! Cry the audience. Mark, it's behind you! It's behind you, Mark! Squawks Polly. <laughs> Polly, come back here! Daddy Pig calls. I have an idea how to follow her. I'll follow her in my car. Brum, brum. I'll rescue you, Polly. Brum, brum. The audience clap and cheer. I wonder what will happen in part two. The audience take their seats for part two of the show. The lights dim down and the curtain rises. It's Peppa's playgroup. Madame Gazelle is on stage and Peppa, George and some of Peppa's friends are pretending to be in school. Now children, today we'll be looking at the alphabet, says Madame Gazelle. Now, does anybody know where I put my chalk? Behind me? No, my chalk isn't behind me, says Madame Gazelle. Who said that? Was that you, George? asks Pepper. <laughs> says George. Come back here, come back here, There's something very strange going on here, says Pepper. Daddy! Pepper and George call. Hello, you two. I don't suppose you've seen Polly Parrot recently. A parrot? asks Madame Gazelle. Polly Parrot flew out of the window, says Daddy Pig. Oh dear, says Peppa. It's behind you, call the audience. There's Polly Parrot, Daddy, calls Peppa. We have to follow Polly, says Daddy Pig. There she goes, calls Peppa. She's going back to the house, says Daddy Pig. Mummy Pig is putting birdseed into Polly's bowl. So that's why Polly flew home. Polly knew it was time for tea, laughs Daddy Pig. That sounds like rain, says Pepper. And you know what that means. Muddy puddles! Come on, George! Pepper and her friends take a bow and the audience applauds. I think they like the show, don't you? Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have a treat in store today for Pepper and George. They're taking the family out for a trip to the cinema. Pepper and George are excited. But what film to watch? Daddy Pig checks the newspaper to see what films are showing. Ooh, the new Super Potato movie. What about this? asks Daddy Pig. Pepper and George love Super Potato. The family jump into the car and drive to the cinema. Pepper recognises the building. It's the theatre where her and George perform their play. 
the family get some popcorn and drinks, head to the screen and take their seats. A lot of Peppa's friends are here for the movie too. The lights go down and the film begins. Super Potato to the rescue! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. The family agree this was a lovely surprise. Eat them all as part of your seven. Mummy Pig and Pepper are out on a shopping trip. It's George's birthday and there's a lot to organise. This place is ginormous, says Peppa. We need to get a present, a birthday cake, party streamers and balloons. The party is this afternoon at the pizzeria, says Mummy Pig. Ooh, toys. Remember, we're looking for something for George, says Mummy Pig. Ooh, Mummy, how about this? I think George would like that. Now we'll need to get some party food, says Mummy Pig. Miss Rabbit is behind the counter. Hello Mummy Pig, what can I get you today? Oh hello Miss Rabbit, we're here for party food. It's George's birthday, says Pepper. Party food, hmm? Well we have drinks down the aisle there and oh, how about some veg for a nice salad? And with lots of jam and things for nice sandwiches. Mmm, says Pepper. Mummy Pig spots the cookie shop. How about some cookies? Everyone likes cookies, suggests Mummy Pig. Oh, yes please, says Pepper. Oh, Miss Rabbit, you work here too, says Pepper. Yes, well, who could resist the smell of these cookies? Now, what can I get you? We'll take a large bag of chocolate chip cookies, please, says Mummy Pig. Party food, cookies present. Ah! We need to get a cake, says Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig spots the cake shop. Ah, birthday cake, we can get it here. Behind the counter is Miss Rabbit. Oh, hello Mummy Pig, what can I get you? Hello again. We're after a nice big birthday cake, says Mummy Pig. Here you go. Thank you, replies Mummy Pig. Hmm, I just know I'm forgetting something, says Mummy Pig. Balloons and streamers, Mummy, says Pepper. You're right, we can't have a party without balloons. Ah, here we go. Miss Rabbit, do you work at all the shops here, asks Mummy Pig. Well, I like balloons. Who doesn't like balloons, replies Miss Rabbit. I love balloons. Come on, now we've got everything, we need to start preparing for the party, says Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig arrives at the shopping centre with George. Attention everyone, George is here for his party, announces Pepper. George's friends and his family get ready to surprise him. Surprise! Happy birthday, George! Everyone cheers. What a surprise! George opens his present and loves his new toy. Everyone enjoys a piece of cake and lots of party food. Even Miss Rabbit brings round some ice cream for everyone. I think George liked his surprise, don't you? Rebecca Rabbit, Susie Sheep and Zoe Zebra are looking for Pepper. Peppa told them to meet them near the big yellow box, but she isn't there. The box suddenly starts to wobble and shake. Susie spots that the box is moving. Zoe knocks on the box and wonders if someone's inside. Rebecca looks a bit nervous. 
Surprise! Blast Pepper. Susie asks Pepper what the big yellow box is. It's Pepper's secret surprise. Following Pepper, she leads them to some enormous presents. Rebecca, Zoe, and Susie are very excited. Pepper suggests they open the boxes. Zoe's found a surprise bag. Rebecca's found one too. Zoe Zebra's found a party hat. Rebecca's found some fairy wings. Pepper wonders what else is in the boxes. Pepper finds a glittery, sparkly dress. Rebecca has her own sparkly dress too. Zoe Zebra has found the glittery cloak and she thinks it will look great with Pepper's dress. Susie Sheep pulls a long roll of stickers out of a drawer. Pepper's friends decide to decorate their party hats. Pepper throws a small box down. She wonders if there's a present inside. Susie, Rebecca and Zoe quickly go back to search in the drawers and three more boxes are found. A present for everyone! Rebecca suggests that they decorate the presents with stickers and gems. Carefully, Pepper and her friends place stickers and gems on their gifts to each other. After exchanging their gifts, Pepper and her friends open their presents. Zoe has a rubber duck. Rebecca has a hairbrush. Susie has got a bag. But Pepper's present has gone missing. Poor Pepper. Just then, Daddy Pig arrives to collect Pepper. Daddy Pig finds a present on the floor and wonders who it's for. <laughs> well, that was a very surprising day. Pepper and George are doing what they love to do most of all, jumping in muddy puddles. But grey clouds begin to form. And oh no, it begins to rain. Pepper and George rush into the house to stay dry. Daddy Pig tells them that they came in at the right time. It's almost dinner time. Pepper and George come into the kitchen and sit down, but... Oh dear, muddy footprints on the floor. <laughs> Mummy Pig isn't pleased. Pepper and George are to have a bath after dinner. The family settle down for their dinner. Pepper and George are watching TV. Mummy Pig asks if they've had their bath yet. Pepper and George look at each other. We will, replies Pepper. Sometime later, Pepper is playing with in the playroom. And George is in the bedroom playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Mummy Pig asks Pepper and George if they've had their bath yet. Not yet, Mummy, Pepper says. Meanwhile, Daddy Pig has been running the bath and getting it warm and bubbly for Pepper and George. Pepper, George, bath time, he calls. Daddy Pig says if they get themselves clean and in their pyjamas, he has a super special surprise for them both before they go to sleep. Pepper and George put on their pyjamas. 
brush their teeth, and meet Mummy and Daddy Pig in the attic study. Daddy Pig has put up his old telescope. He asks Pepper to look through, but Pepper says it's been raining. All they'll see is clouds. He laughs and tells Pepper and George that it stopped raining whilst they were in the bath. Pepper looks through the telescope and sees something whoosh across the sky. A shooting star. Daddy Pig was right. This is a super special surprise. The two begin to yawn. It's time for bed. Pepper and George climb into bed, dreaming of the stars. Good night, Pepper and George. Today, Pepper is helping out Dr. Brown Bear in the Mobile Medical Center. Pepper is giving Teddy an X-ray. Oh no, there's an emergency. Someone has hurt themselves at the park. Pepper and Dr. Brown Bear quickly jump into the ambulance and drive off to the park. The children see the ambulance arrive and rush over to Pepper and Dr. Brown Bear. Everyone had been playing at the park. George had been playing in the sandpit. Candy Cat had been enjoying the slide. Susie Sheep had been feeding the ducks. Emily Elephant and Danny Dog had been swinging on the swings when Danny fell off and hurt himself. Oh dear, says Dr. Brown Bear. We'd best give you an x-ray. In a moment, the ambulance falls out into the medical center. Nurse Pepper helps Dr. Brown Bear take Danny to the x-ray machine. Danny lies on a bed and Dr. Brown Bear starts the machine. Danny looks worried, but Pepper calms him down. The children wait to see if Danny is okay. Rebecca Rabbit measures Gerald. He's very tall. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear checks Danny's x-ray. Good news! You're going to be just fine. <laughs> What's that sound? It's Police Officer Panda in his police car coming to see if everyone's okay. Everything is under control, Dr. Brown Bear tells him. Perhaps an ice cream will make everyone feel better. The children rush to Miss Rabbit in the ice cream van. Come on, Pepper and George, time to go home, calls Mummy Pig. Peppa arrives home and she and George give Daddy Pig a big hug. After a bath, it's time to get into pyjamas and climb into bed. What an exciting day! Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper and George on an adventure in their brand new motorhome. Wow! This is the biggest, bestest car I have ever seen! Well, Pepper, it's not actually a car, it's a motorhome. I wonder where we should go first. I'm not sure. I suppose we could go anywhere we like. What do you think, George? The motorhome isn't a rocket ship. We have to pick somewhere we can drive to. I know. How about we go on a mountain adventure? That's sort of close to the moon. That sounds amazing. I'm going to climb all the way to the top. That's a wonderful idea. Let's go. George, no! <laughs> oh dear. Well, we can't go on a road trip with all this mud on the motorhome. We won't be able to see where we're going. Daddy and I will get this mess cleaned up and we'll be on our way in no time. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Phew! This is a lot bigger than our regular car. I think we might need some extra help from Pepper and George. Good idea. Pepper! George! Hmm, I wonder where they could be. I think they must be playing hide and seek. <laughs> Let's try and find them. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are looking for Pepper and George. They must be around here somewhere. <laughs> that sounded like Pepper. I think it came from over there by the swimming pool. <laughs> That's strange. I was sure that I heard Pepper's oink over here. <laughs> That was definitely George's oink. I think it came from the kitchen. <laughs> They're not here either. They must be very good at hiding. That was definitely Pepper and George. They must be in the upstairs bedroom. Where could they be? Boom! No! Oh, there you are. <laughs> we fooled you. <laughs> you certainly did. We thought we were never going to find you. Clearing the mud off the motorhome was a lot more work than we thought. Yes, all that work has made me hungry. I know. Maybe George and I could make you a snack before we go on a mountain adventure. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you. OK, first we need to stir the cookie mixture. I can do that. Perfect. Now we need to make one cookie for each of us. How many is that, George? One, two, three, four. That's right. One for you, one for Pepper, one for me and one for Daddy Pig. Yum! They look delicious. Can we eat them now, please? Not yet, Pepper. First, we have to bake them. Yummy! They smell scrumptious. Why don't you take them to Daddy Pig? I'm sure he's hungry after cleaning all the mud off the motorhome. <laughs> Look, Daddy, we made cookies. One for each of us. Oh, just what I needed. Puddle! George! <gasps> oh dear, now I'm all messy. <laughs> you look like a giant cookie, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and then the T Rex came, scaring everyone. Rawr! <laughs> yeah! Dinosaur! Rawr! Did you hear that, George? That must be Daddy! Surprise! Surprise! Wow! A house with wheels! <laughs> That's right! It's called a motorhome! And we are going to use it to go on a camping adventure. Yeah! yeah! Wow! This looks like a very fun camping site. Shall we set up our motorhome? Yeah! yeah! Is that a hammock on the roof? Yes, Peppa. Daddy Pig or I can sleep up there. Where will George and I sleep? Let's do a tour of our motorhome. Follow me. This is your bedroom. OK, so there's one hammock and two beds. That makes three. But there are four of us. There's not enough space for everybody. <laughs> well spotted, Peppa. But we haven't finished our tour yet. These benches can be turned into a bed, so there's enough space for everyone to sleep. 
I love our motorhome. It's magical. <laughs> it is. How about you and George go and play outside while Mummy and I finish setting up? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, can you please tell us a scary story? Now that it's night time, it will be doubly scary. Well, I've heard that this camping site is home to a very creepy spider. They say he... Whoa! <laughs> oh, seems I'm not very brave when it comes to telling scary stories. <laughs> okay, George, how about you tell us a scary story? Dinosaur! Grrr! I've changed my mind. That's too scary, George. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough scary stories for tonight. I know what we could do instead. Some stargazing. Well spotted, George. That's a shooting star. Make a wish. Some of the stars make shapes. Like those ones. They look like, well, they look like me. You're right, Pepper. A group of stars that make a shape is called a constellation. Who would like to see the constellations in the sky more clearly? Yes! So you set it up as so <laughs> and peek through this part at the sky. <laughs> ah! Oh my! What is it? <laughs> Silly Daddy! It's only a tiny little spider. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, what do you think George wished for earlier when the shooting star passed by? Was that? Hmm. I think I know what George wished for now. <laughs> Die. So. These balloons are sweeping me off my feet. <laughs> I just know all of the children are going to love these. Let's tie them up here ready for the morning. Right class, who's ready for our very exciting adventure to the balloon park? Yay! 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 Excellent! Follow me! <laughs> Dinosaur! <laughs> Wee! Oh, hello there! Hello, Madam Gazelle. Hello, children. Mrs. Pig, look at me! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Very cool, Gerald. <clears throat> Could I speak to you about something? The balloons have gone where? Oh no! What's wrong, Madam Gazelle? 
Oh, um, well... Mummy Pig and I had brought a bunch of balloons here for you to play with, but they seem to have flown away. Oh, no! But wait! Look over there! There's a balloon! I bet there are balloons loose all around here. Why don't we try to find them all, Madam Gazelle? Oh, you children always impress me. What a wonderful idea. Let's call it Project Balloon Bonanza. Hooray! <laughs> Look up there. It's a balloon. Good spot, Rebecca. Children, do you think you have what it takes to reach it? Yay! <laughs> Just need to untie it. See a balloon anywhere. Balloon! George, maybe if you swung on the swing it would free the balloon. a fantastic job finding the balloons. You should all be very proud. But it was so much fun. We got to see all the attractions in the balloon park. Ooh, what's this attraction? This is the balloon ride. Now that we've found all the balloons, it's time for the real balloon bonanza to start. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness! Mummy, are we nearly at the petting farm? I can't wait to meet the guinea pigs. Yes, Pepper. Grandpa Pig should be waiting for us outside. But remember, we are going to help Grandpa Pig get the farm ready for the animals first. That's right! Peppa, let's help carry this bag of seeds for the animals' breakfast. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> this sure is a heavy breakfast. Oh, oh, thank you for your help bringing the animals food here, everybody. However, the truth is, the heavy rain last night has made the petting farm very muddy. A little too muddy. Where are all of the animals? They cannot come out until the farm has been cleaned, Rebecca. Otherwise, they will get too muddy for petting. Oh, no! How can we help, Grandpa? Well, I'll show you, but it'll be very messy. <laughs> hmm. 
everyone thank you but grandpa there's still that big pile of mud we still have time to clean it up don't we mr pig ho ho we should do as long as the animal <gasps> as long as the animals don't come back just yet Oh no, the guinea pig will get too muddy for petting at this rate. Wait, Mr. Guinea Pig, please slow down. <laughs> Peppa, George, Rebecca, are you okay? Yes, we're okay. That cheeky little guinea pig is so cute. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Silly mummy, it's only chickens. I suppose they are cute, aren't they, Peppa? Okay, everybody. The animals have safely been taken somewhere else whilst we finish cleaning this mud. But how will we do that, Grandpa? It's everywhere! We can use this! <laughs> Great work, everyone! Thank you for your help. The animals are very happy with our work. Now, who would like to feed Mr. Guinea Pig and Mrs. Chicken? Me! Me! Let's put the seeds over here in this trough, Mummy Pig. Then we can feed the animals. Oh, -ho! you're all very friendly. I love the petting farm. Today, Mummy Pig is doing a big spring clean of the kitchen. <laughs> one sponge, one brew, I'm ready for the big clean. <laughs> Dinosaur! <Urgh. laughs> I can't play with you right now, George. Sorry. We'll play with George, Mummy. It just rained and there are muddy puddles to jump in outside. Okay, Peppa, but don't forget to wear your boots. Boots. <laughs> and please take off your muddy boots when you come back inside. <laughs> Uh-oh! Maybe we should go inside before it starts to rain too much. Good idea! Let's play hide and seek around the house. But not in the kitchen, to let Mummy clean. <laughs> Who wants to count? <laughs> OK, George, count to ten. <laughs> oh. That was quick, George. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Those over there aren't my footprints. You're so good, George! Oh no! Mummy isn't going to be very happy! What are we going to do? Mummy is using the broom and sponge in the kitchen 
and we need to clean this mess quickly before she notices. <laughs> Maybe we can find other things to clean with around the house. Good idea, Susie. Let's look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> it looks like they're going to need a little bit of help. <gasps> oh. All right, George, you wait for us here while we clean the muddy footprints around the house. Now, we just need to clean the bedroom and we will be all done. <gasps> oh no! What's going on in here? Oh! We're sorry, Mummy. We forgot to take our shoes off like you said and try to clean all the footprints. But George decided to clean in his own way. It's okay, Pepper. This is a good opportunity to learn some cleaning techniques. Let's do this together. Woohoo! <laughs> Team, there's a little surprise waiting for you in the kitchen. <laughs> you did a really good job cleaning in the kitchen, Mummy. <laughs> cleaning is easy with the right tools. Wait a minute. You were cleaning with the sponge and the broom earlier, but we found them in the living room and in mine and George's bedroom. You hid them, Mummy. <laughs> You're not the only one who likes to play hide and seek. <gasps> I'm so excited for playgroup today. I'm going to make the prettiest mask ever. I can't wait to see it, Pepper. <gasps> oh no! Where is Madame Gazelle? I hope she gets in soon so we can make our glittery masks today. She must be running late. Maybe she's trying to find art supplies for our lesson today, Pepper. Don't worry everyone, we can make our masks ourselves. We have a lot of art supplies already. We'll wait here with you all until Madame Gazelle arrives. Yes, and I think it's a lovely idea to get started and show Madame Gazelle the lovely masks you make. I have an idea. We just need to pretend that Madame Gazelle is here with us. Great idea, Mandy! <laughs> right, everybody, who's ready to make some glittery masks? I didn't expect it to come to life! <laughs> Don't worry, Mandy! It's only me! Let's make Madame Gazelle proud! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, class! 
Let's see what lovely creations you've all come up with in today's Arts and Crafts lesson. Great job, everyone! Wouldn't it be nice to make Madame Gazelle a mask too? Oh, yes, Mummy! But what sort of mask would Madame Gazelle like? I have an idea. I think I know what kind of mask Madame Gazelle would like. Because it's Mummy Pig's favourite kind. Ho, ho, ho. I'm so sorry I'm late, everyone. I was... My goodness, you've all made your masks and they're lovely. I'm so proud of you all. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. We remembered everything you taught us. Besides, I, Madam Gazelle, have been here the whole time. Ha ha ha. Madam Gazelle, we thought about what sort of mask you might like. That's right. Could you please close your eyes? My goodness! Yes, okay, Susie. <laughs> Ooh! Heaven! You can relax, Madam Gazelle. You have been rushing around all morning. Besides, we have you here all the time now. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Do we really need to wear all this sun cream, Mummy? Yes, Peppa. The sun is shining very brightly today. Right, who's ready to go to the bit? Have you put on your cream, Daddy Pig? Ahem, <clears throat> um... <coughs> well, now I have. It's time for our adventure at the beach. Here it comes, George. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome to your very own castle, Prince George and Princess Pepper. Wow! <laughs> wow! Don't worry, George. Sand castles aren't supposed to last forever. Let's make our own. This smells yummy, Mummy Pig. Thank you. It's so hot today, it feels like we've all been on the barbecue too, Daddy Pig. Oh, don't worry. I have just the thing to help cool us down. Fancy's cooling down in the paddling pool. Me! <laughs> this is so yummy! Ho oh, ho! It certainly is hot! <gasps> Daddy Pig, look at you! You're bright red! Why do crabs bury themselves under the sand? I imagine it's to keep out of the hot sun, Pepper. Mm. Ah! That's it! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Uh, be careful! Oh my, it is rather cool down here. There 
you go, Daddy. That will keep you cool until we go home. <laughs> Good work, Pepper and George. I'm very proud of you. What an adventure today has been. Oh, I'm stuck. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> Today is an extra special day because Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper and George on a summer holiday adventure. Those bags look very heavy, Pepper. Are you sure you don't need some help? I'm fine, thank you. My bag has wheels on it. Oops! <laughs> Have you packed everything you need for our summer holiday adventure? Hmm, I think so. Let's check the list. Have you got your swimming costume? Yep. Have you got your sun hat? Yep, I've got it. What about your sunglasses? Yep, yep, and yep. Summer holiday adventure, here we come. What's the matter? Why aren't we moving anywhere? Hmm, I can't seem to find my keys to start the motor home. Oh dear, maybe you packed them by mistake. I suppose I might have done. Maybe I left them in the house somewhere. Don't worry, Daddy. Detective Pepper and Detective George can help you find your missing keys. Really? Oh, good. That is a relief. Now, where did you see them last? Hmm, I think I saw them in the living room when I got up this morning. Excellent! A clue! Follow me, Detective George. Detective Pepper and Detective George are searching for the lost keys in the living room. Any luck? Hmm... Well, they're not on top of the TV. Maybe they fell behind the sofa. Oh. Nope. Where else did you go this morning, Daddy? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Maybe I left them in the kitchen when I was having my breakfast. Aha! Another clue. Follow me. Detective Pepper and Detective George search the kitchen for the lost keys. Were the keys under the table, George? No, maybe they're in the fruit bowl. Oops! <laughs> oh dear, I can't see the keys anywhere. Hmm, maybe we could pretend it's the morning again and see where you went. That's a great idea, Pepper. Now let me think. First, I sat at the table and ate my breakfast. After that, I went over to the sink and did the washing up. Maybe Mummy found them in the luggage. We should go and check. Did you find anything? No, I'm afraid not. Did you? No, not yet. But I think we're getting close with Detective Pepper and Detective George's help. We checked every room in the house, but we couldn't find Daddy's keys anywhere. Suddenly, Detective Pepper notices something shiny poking out of one of Daddy Pig's pockets. Daddy, what's that in your pocket? My keys. They were in my pocket the whole time. Well done, detectives. We would never have found them without your help. Hooray! Does this mean we can go on our summer holiday adventure for real this time? Absolutely. Let's go! Whee! Pepper and George are very excited because tonight they are putting on a special music concert for their family. Tonight's the big night. I can't wait to see you and George play your instruments for everyone. 
How many people are going to be watching? Well, there's Mummy, Grandma and Grandpa and your teacher, Madam Gazelle. Daddy, that sounds like a lot of people. What if I make a mistake and everyone laughs at me? No one's going to laugh at you, Peppa. And besides, you've been practising really hard. I know, but I don't think I'm ready. Well, why don't we have a dress rehearsal? What's a dress rehearsal? We can pretend we're doing the concert for real, so that when tonight comes, it won't feel so scary. That might work! Everybody ready? Drum, 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 drum! Ready! Okay, let's go! Three, two, one... <laughs> Hooray! We did it! Very good. I'm sure you'll get a big round of applause at the end. Now we can make the room look like a real concert hall. First, we'll need somewhere for people to sit so they can see you playing. Hmm, how about the sofa? Yes, that'll do nicely. Let's move it in front of the stage. Bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy! <laughs> Come on, George. I can't move the sofa with you bouncing on it. <laughs> Goodness, it's very heavy. A little to the left. A little to the right. A little more. There, perfect! You, now, will need some light so people can see you properly. Hmm, maybe we can use some lamps. That'll look very nice. Can you see me? Yes, Peppa, you look brilliant. I'm going to go and get dressed. The audience will be here soon. This is all very exciting. Yes, the stage looks wonderful. Everybody put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Peppa and George. Ready, Peppa? Ready. Okay. One, two, three. Hey, what happened to the lights? I think there must have been a power cut. How are we going to play if we can't see? Don't worry, Pepper and George. It was a dark walk over here, so we all brought torches. Wow, this feels just like a real concert now. Ready, everybody? One, two, three. We did it! And I didn't even make one mistake! That was excellent, Pepper and George. Now we have to take a bow. Hooray! Good morning, children. I hope you're all ready for sports day. We're super ready. I've been practicing running and jumping. And I've been practicing throwing and catching. Excellent. Well, let's all get warmed up. Oh dear, it's raining. Looks like we won't be able to have our sports day after all. Hurry, children, let's head inside before we all get soaked. Oh, I was really looking forward to sports day. 
Not to worry, children. Perhaps we can have our sports day inside instead. Inside? Yes, there are lots of fun things we can do inside when it's raining. Hooray! Our first event shall be the egg and spoon race. Yay! I love an egg and spoon race. The egg and spoon race is about more than just speed. You have to have lots of balance and care as well. Is everybody ready? Ready! ready. Okay then, on your marks, get set, go! Whoa, this is harder than it looks. <laughs> You'll never catch me. <laughs> we'll see about that. Careful children, remember both you and your eggs need to cross the line. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Congratulations, George! You are the winner! <laughs> Oops, never mind! On to the next event! Let's see what our next event shall be! Ooh, Ooh art! That's one of my favourite subjects! Let's see who can paint the best picture of themselves! What colours shall we choose, I wonder? Can I have a pink, please? But Susie, I need to use the pink as well. Maybe we can share. OK. <laughs> wow! These are all so wonderful children. And who's this, George? Dinosaur! Rawr! Can we put them on the wall so everyone can see them? Of course we can. What a wonderful idea, Peppa. OK, last one. Let's theme this activity around music. <laughs> How about we play musical statues? I'll play the music on my guitar and you all dance along. When the music stops, you all need to stop dancing and stand still. <laughs> this is going to be fun. George, you were supposed to stop dancing when the music stopped. Never mind, George. How about you come up here and help me play some music for Peppa and Susie? Drum! OK, time for round two. Slow down, George. I'm not sure I can play that fast. Phew! I'm exhausted. This was the best indoor sports day ever! <laughs> Look at me! Wow, Susie! Three, two, one... Splash! Did you see the big splash? That was an impressive jump, Susie! Wow, Susie! That was great! Thanks, Peppa! Hmm... What's wrong, Peppa? I thought you liked coming to the swimming pool. I do! But I want to dive like Susie and make big splashes. But you can. The diving board, it's too high and scary. Hmm, I think I know something that might help you. Mummy, 
What's that storybook? Oh, Peppa, this is not just any storybook. This is a magical story. Ooh, magical! That's right. What's it about? Well, it's a book about a very, very magical piggy and a very magical pool. Please, will you read it to me, Mummy? Of course. Ahem. This is a story about the magical pool. Once upon a time, there was a very magical pool. The magical pool was watched over by a princess pig who would sing to the water to keep its magic glowing. La, 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 la. Um, Mummy, could the princess pig be giant? <laughs> I... <clears throat> yes, Peppa, of course, why not? The giant princess pig kept singing her magical songs to the water. But then something happened. The water disappeared. Oh no, that's not a nice story. Don't worry, Peppa, it's not finished yet. The princess tried to bring the water back with her singing, but her magic powers didn't work in this way. <sighs> the princess had to find water from somewhere. But where will she find water from, Mummy? I don't know, Peppa. There's lots of water here. If only we could give the princess some. But how could we do that, Mummy? It would be difficult. But if someone could make a big splash, that might be enough to reach the princess. Oh, I can do it. I can make a big splash. Are you sure, Peppa? Yes, I'll make the biggest splash ever and help the princess. Ooh, it's very high. You can do it, Peppa. Yay, Peppa. Three, two, one. It worked! The magic pool was full again and the princess was happy she could sing to it. The end! Did you enjoy that, Peppa? 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 Up here, Mummy! Who's excited about seeing all the animals at the petting farm? Oh, me, me, I am. Me too, me too. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looks like it's going to rain. Good thing we bought our raincoats, Daddy. Animals in the petting farm don't have raincoats. Will they mind the rain? Hmm, I'm not sure, Pepper. Hopefully, we can keep them happy with all of the food we brought for them. It's a shame there aren't any fish at this petting farm. They'd be very happy. Oh, look! The chickens like the rain. Oh, they're getting very muddy. Oh no, he doesn't like the rain. Hmm, it looks like you're right, Peppa. Yeah! <laughs> oh my, it was lucky I was wearing my raincoat, wasn't it? Ho oh, ho! I have an idea. Come on, Pepper. I need your help getting things from the car. What are we doing, Daddy? Well, Pepper. Oh, that's a great idea, Daddy. <laughs> Oh dear, I think the rain is getting heavier. The animals won't be happy. Don't worry, little animals. You will all be dry in no time. Oh, 
Oh, that's better, I think. Oh, yes. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Guinea Pig? And how about you, little chicks? It looks like all that jumping in puddles made George and the chickens very sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so who enjoyed the petting farm then? I did, I did. Even though it was a bit wet. Oh, yes. And would you look at that, just in time. Oh, dear. We should have made a raincoat for the car too. <laughs> 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 Ice cream! Mm. It's tasty, isn't it? I wonder if Pepper and Daddy Pig will end up eating it all in their special ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not so fast, Pepper. We need to set up first. Mmm, all of these different flavours of ice cream look so yummy. Oh, they sure do, Pepper. Which one would you like to try before we open up the shop to customers? Strawberry, please. Coming right up. <laughs> oh my! Looks like we have some customers, Peppa. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Hi, Susie. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Peppa. Could we please have some ice cream? Of course you can. You're our customers, Mandy. <laughs> Why don't you both choose which flavour you like the look of? There is lots more. You just need to wait for the Ferris wheel to finish spinning. Mm. Thank you, Peppa. Uh oh. Whoa! It's raining ice cream. Oh my goodness! I'm so sorry, Pedro. Don't worry, Mrs. Pig. I love chocolate ice cream. Mmm. It's okay. I'm all clean now. Good. Why don't you come with me and George to our ice cream truck? A whole truck filled with ice cream. Yes, please. Peppa, I didn't know you had an ice cream truck. Yes, Pedro. And the ice cream is delicious. <laughs> Oh, George, would you like to serve our next customer? Yay! Hmm. Can I have strawberry, please, George? Yeah. <laughs> and now you can give the cone to the customer, George. Ice cream, ice cream! <laughs> oh. Oh, Pedro, I'm sorry. George loves ice cream too much to be an ice cream seller. Hey, I have an idea, Pedro. Oh, my goodness. What an excellent idea, Pepper. This will test all of our ice cream making skills. Pedro, hold on one moment, please. OK, Pepper. ice cream I've ever seen. It's going to get as tall as the Ferris wheel. 17, 18, 19, 20. Phew. I can't believe it. A 
20 scoop ice cream. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to finish this. Ice cream, ice cream! Don't worry, Pedro. I know somebody who would be very happy to help. Peppa Pig do 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 Peppa Pig do 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 Peppa Pig do 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 Peppa Pig Mommy Pig do 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 Mommy Pig do 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 Mommy Pig do 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 Mommy Pig Daddy Pig do 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 Daddy Pig do 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 Daddy Pig do 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 Daddy Pig George Pig do 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 George Pig do do Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Yay! Oh. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Garden Games. It's finally the moment we have all been waiting for. The Team Challenge! Peppa and her family are having a sports day in the garden. It looks like our athletes are ready to begin. First up, the Egg and Spoon Race. Ready? Steady? Go! Both teams are off to a strong start. Woo! Yeah! Oh no! How unlucky for the blue team! Try again, Danny! The red team has the lead and is starting the second challenge. The beanbag toss. There, there. Oh dear, the red team are having some problems. Here come Pepper and Daddy Pig. Wow! That was a great shot by Pepper. Uh oh. But Mummy Pig and George are back in the race. It's going to all come down to the last event the Muddy Puddle Bucket Challenge. The first team to fill their bucket with mud wins. <laughs> oh, it looks like the blue team is off to a strong start. But don't count the red team out yet. Oh, now the red team is in the lead. No, it's the blue. No, no, red again. No, blue. Who is it going to be? That's it. It's a draw. Everyone wins! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Yay! Peppa and Daddy Pig are baking a cake for Mummy Pig's birthday. Daddy, this doesn't look like a chocolate cake to me. Hmm, you're right, Peppa. Oh, I know. Well done, Pepper. How could we forget the chocolate? Now we just have to mix it. Oh! Uh oh! Pepper and Daddy Pig are trying again to make a yummy chocolate cake for Mummy Pig's birthday. This looks perfect, Pepper. Now all we have to do is get the mixture in the tin. One, two, three! Mmm, oh. that would have been a very yummy cake. Oh dear, it seems making a cake can be tricky. Finally, our cake is ready for the oven, Pepper. Hooray! Now we just have to wait. Our cake is done! Cake! Cake! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Ooh, ooh. <gasps> Happy birthday, dear Mummy! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! <laughs> well done, Peppa. This really is the perfect chocolate cake. Well, almost perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round the wheels on the bus go round and round All through the town Miss Rabbit on the bus says all aboard All aboard, all aboard Miss Rabbit on the bus says all aboard All through the town 
The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. All through the town. The children on the bus they giggle, giggle, giggle. Giggle, giggle, giggle. Giggle, giggle, giggle. The children on the bus they giggle, giggle, giggle. All through the town. The signals on the bus go blink, blink, blink. Blink, blink, blink. Blink, blink, blink. The signals on the bus go blink, blink, blink. All through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. All through the town. Pepper on the bus goes. Pepper on the bus goes all through the town. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. It's an exciting day for Pepper and her friends. After weeks of practicing and rehearsing, their play is ready for their audience to see. Candy Cat sells tickets, whilst Danny Dog shows people to their seats. The audience chatter and murmur excitedly. The lights dim down, the curtain rises, and the play begins. It's Peppa's home. A set of the kitchen is on the stage. Daddy Pig is sat at the breakfast table. A basket of laundry is on the stage, as well as Polly Parrot on her perch. Polly Parrot is staying with them whilst Granny and Grandpa Pig are on holiday. That was a yummy breakfast. Time to get ready for work, says Daddy Pig. Now, where are my keys, he says. But as he looks around, he knocks over Polly Parrot. Oh no, Polly's got loose. Come back here, Daddy Pig cries. Off to the side of the stage, Susie Sheep uses a megaphone to perform the parrot's voice. Calls Susie Sheep pretending to be the parrot. <laughs> come on, Polly, come back, Daddy Pig says. Oh no, not outside. Oh dear, I'm going to have to find Polly. The set has changed to the outside of Peppa's house. Where has Polly Parrot got to? Says Daddy Pig. It's behind you! Cry the audience laughing. Behind me? Daddy Pig looks behind him. No, Polly isn't there. It's behind you! Laugh the audience. Are you sure? Daddy Pig asks the audience. Yes! Cry the audience. Ark, it's behind you! It's behind you, Ark! Squawks Polly. <laughs> Polly, come back here! Daddy Pig calls. I have an idea how to follow her. I'll follow her in my car. Brum, brum. I'll rescue you, Polly. Brum, brum. The audience clap and cheer. I wonder what will happen in part two. The audience take their seats for part two of the show. The lights dim down and the curtain rises. It's Peppa's playgroup. Madame Gazelle is on stage and Peppa, George and some of Peppa's friends are pretending to be in school. Now children, today we'll be looking at the alphabet, says Madame Gazelle. Now, does anybody know where I put my chalk? Behind me? No, my chalk isn't behind me, says Madame Gazelle. Who said that? Was that you, George? asked Peppa. <coughs> says George. Come back here, come back here, There's something very strange going on here, says Peppa. Daddy! Peppa and George call. Hello, you two. 
I don't suppose you've seen Polly Parrot recently? A parrot? asked Madame Gazelle. Polly Parrot flew out of the window, says Daddy Pig. Oh dear, says Pepper. It's behind you, called the audience. There's Polly Parrot, Daddy, calls Pepper. We have to follow Polly, says Daddy Pig. There she goes, calls Pepper. She's going back to the house, says Daddy Pig. Mummy Pig is putting birdseed into Polly's bowl. So that's why Polly flew home. Polly knew it was time for tea, laughs Daddy Pig. That sounds like rain, says Pepper. And you know what that means. Muddy puddles! Come on, George! Pepper and her friends take a bow and the audience applauds. I think they like the show, don't you? Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have a treat in store today for Pepper and George. They're taking the family out for a trip to the cinema. Pepper and George are excited. But what film to watch? Daddy Pig checks the newspaper to see what films are showing. Ooh, the new Super Potato movie. What about this? asks Daddy Pig. Pepper and George love Super Potato. The family jump into the car and drive to the cinema. Pepper recognises the building. It's the theatre where her and George perform their play. The family gets some popcorn and drinks, head to the screen and take their seats. A lot of Pepper's friends are here for the movie too. The lights go down and the film begins. Super Potato to the rescue! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. The family agree this was a lovely surprise. Eat them all as part of your seven. In Pepper's home, Daddy Pig is very excited. He's got a surprise for the family and he can't wait to tell them. Pepper is watching Super Potato on the TV. Mummy Pig is playing Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer. And George is in his room playing with Mr Dinosaur. Daddy Pig calls the family and they come to meet him in the kitchen. Daddy Pig tells the family that they are going on holiday. It looks like everyone is excited. The family rush to pack their suitcases. Pepper puts her favourite dresses in the suitcase. George thinks Mr Dinosaur would like to ride in the aeroplane with him. Mummy Pig thinks she'll take her sun hat. Daddy Pig is going to take his camera. Daddy Pig brings the cases downstairs and loads them into the car. Come on Pepper and George, we don't want to miss our plane, calls Mummy Pig. Family jump into the car and ride to the airport. The luggage is loaded into the plane as Pepper and her family climb aboard. The door is closed and the plane prepares to take off. With a rumble and a whoosh, the plane soars up into the air. And with a... 
The plane lands on the runway. Daddy Pig has another surprise for the family. Ta-da! He cries out. A camper van! The family are going on a camping holiday. They climb inside and off they go. On the road and off to adventure. Daddy Pig spots a nice clearing that will be perfect for a campsite. He pulls the camper van over, into the clearing, and begins to set up camp. Mummy Pig starts the barbecue. Daddy Pig pulls out the benches, and Pepper and George get on their bicycles and go for a ride in the forest. Mummy Pig calls everyone for dinner and the family settle down to eat. As the day turns into night, Daddy Pig suggests that it's time for bed. But where are Pepper and George? They're bouncing up and down on the bed. But Daddy Pig tells them that's not where they're sleeping. He tells Pepper and George to follow him. Tent. Daddy Pig put up a tent for Pepper and George to sleep in. How exciting! The two wriggle into their tent and snuggle down into their sleeping bags for a well-deserved sleep, ready for another day's adventures. Rebecca Rabbit, Susie Sheep and Zoe Zebra are looking for Pepper. Pepper told them to meet them near the big yellow box, but she isn't there. The box suddenly starts to wobble and shake. Susie spots that the box is moving. Zoe knocks on the box and wonders if someone's inside. Rebecca looks a bit nervous. Surprise! laughs Pepper. Susie asks Pepper what the big yellow box is. It's Pepper's secret surprise. Following Pepper, she leads them to some enormous presents. Rebecca, Zoe, and Susie are very excited. Pepper suggests they open the boxes. <laughs> Zoe's found a surprise bag. Rebecca's found one too. Zoe Zebra's found a party hat. Rebecca's found some fairy wings. Pepper wonders what else is in the boxes. Pepper finds a glittery sparkly dress. Rebecca has her own sparkly dress too. Zoe Zebra has found the glittery cloak, and she thinks it will look great with Pepper's dress. Susie Sheep pulls a long roll of stickers out of a drawer. Pepper's friends decide to decorate their party hats. Pepper throws a small box down. She wonders if there's a present inside. Susie, Rebecca and Zoe quickly go back to searching the drawers and three more boxes are found. A present for everyone! Rebecca suggests that they decorate the presents with stickers and gems. Carefully, Peppa and her friends place stickers and gems on their gifts to each other. After exchanging their gifts, Peppa and her friends open their presents. Zoe has a rubber duck. Rebecca has a hairbrush. Susie has got a bag. But Pepper's present has gone missing. Poor Pepper. Just then, Daddy Pig arrives to collect Pepper. Daddy Pig finds a present on the floor and wonders who it's for. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that was a very surprising day. Pepper and George are doing what they love to do most of all, jumping in muddy puddles. But grey clouds begin to form. And oh no, it begins to rain. Pepper and George rush into the house to stay dry. Daddy Pig tells them that they came in at the right time. It's almost dinner time. Pepper and George come into the kitchen and sit down, but oh dear, muddy footprints on the floor. <laughs> Mummy Pig isn't pleased. Pepper and George are to have a bath after dinner. The family settle down for their dinner. Pepper and George are watching TV. Mummy Pig asks if they've had their bath yet. Pepper and George look at each other. We will, replies Pepper. Sometime later, Pepper is playing with in the playroom. And George is in the bedroom playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Mummy Pig asks Pepper and George if they've had their bath yet. Not yet, Mummy, Pepper says. Meanwhile, Daddy Pig has been running the bath and getting it warm and bubbly for Pepper and George. Pepper, George, bath time, he calls. Daddy Pig says if they get themselves clean and in their pyjamas, he has a super special surprise for them both before they go to sleep. Pepper and George put on their pyjamas, brush their teeth, and meet Mummy and Daddy Pig in the attic study. Daddy Pig has put up his old telescope. He asks Pepper to look through, but Pepper says it's been raining. All they'll see is clouds. He laughs and tells Pepper and George that it stopped raining whilst they were in the bath. Pepper looks through the telescope and sees something whoosh across the sky. A shooting star. Daddy Pig was right. This is a super special surprise. The two begin to yawn. It's time for bed. Pepper and George climb into bed, dreaming of the stars. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs>